When your wife of a billion years asks, pleads, no begs for you to make her favorite smoked ribs in the world, hey, what are you gonna do? You're gonna make them. Because if you don't, you get your, well, look, I've been married 36 years because I know how to say, yes, dear, you got it. Like, it's not like that. But I do believe you gotta get along in a relationship. One of my brothers told me years ago of his own marriage, if something means more to his wife than it does to him, why fight? I don't fight. And I'm the less picky one. I'll eat anything, anything, some fajita thing that's been on the turn deal at 7-Eleven for six months. Give me a couple cocktails and a blunt and that thing will go down in two seconds. Forget the cocktails and the blunt. I just like that convenience store food. By the way, way better in Asia. Boys, right? Oh yeah. Way better in Asia. 7-Eleven, this country, get it together. Go to Japan and Korea, see what they do, then come back here and do it. I've buried the headline. Here's the headline. We're making ribs. Yes, for Kelly. But also the other day, I said, boys, what will your final meal be? And Chance said... Ribs for sure. Ribs for sure. So we're doing them. Here's the deal. You make a rub, they go on. You smoke them for two hours. Then you wrap them for an hour. And then you give them a half hour or so sauce to get sticky, tacky, caramelized, and beautiful. Who wants to go? Ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys. Let's go. We begin with the rub, and the rub looks like this. Three tablespoons of brown sugar. Love brown sugar. This is a combination of sweet and hot, and the hot comes in the form of chipotle chili powder. So we want like three tablespoons of this. That didn't look even, but that looks good to me now. And then we need some cumin, garlic powder, recipe below by the way, smoked paprika, here we go, kosher salt, and pepper. And to this we will mix. Make a ton of this, keep it in your pantry. It's real good. I'll bust up those pieces with my fingers as I sprinkle, but now to the ribs. And here's what we're using, St. Louis style ribs. Now, you would recognize these as pork ribs and St. Louis style has them being trimmed of some cartilage and little extra tips to level them up and make them beautifully rectangular. And these are, these are nice. I could have got two that were the same size. I don't know why I didn't. But here's what I want to do. To prep them, I want to get rid of anything extra. Like this extra fat here, I don't really need. So I'm going to cut this off, okay? This here, I can see I'm not going to want. So, I mean, look, a little bit is fine, but some of this, ah, uh, you know. These are actually not too bad. I think the barbecue championship guys use St. Louis style or they cut them themselves because they're even. And when they put them in their box to give to the judges, their turn-in box, they all look the same. The other spare ribs, pork back ribs, they're all different sizes. That's it's not gonna make anybody happy. So this here, we can clean this up. Look, you be as anal as you want. I mean, I don't really mind it. A little bite of fat's kind of good. This piece right here, some people like to cut this guy off by itself and then cook it separately. I'm okay, I like it here. I mean, you wouldn't wanna cut it off and throw it away. No way do you wanna do that. And then the other thing we wanna do is try and get the membrane off. And you can see it's starting to come up here. And what will help here? will be a paper towel. We we'll use one towel to hold like this, and then one towel to grab this little edge and pull. And as much of that as you can get off is better. It's not the worst thing in the world Haven't if you leave it said on. Haven't that the membrane thing doesn't matter in the past? I feel like people have commented that. Look, for years I never took it off. And I'm showing you that it's an option if you want to. I do think it makes eating them a tiny bit easier, but that's okay. See? All right. Well, by the way, I think at some point you should address the gravy that was on your nose in the popcorn steak video. Oh, I had gravy on my nose that you didn't tell me about? It's gonna be great. You know it's gonna be great, but it's gonna be even greater because we're gonna make this little beefy Guinness onion gravy on my nose. F***ing great. There's two of you behind the camera staring at me almost all the time. All right, let me do this one quickly and then we'll be on our way to seasoning. All right, with our ribs trimmed up, about as much as I'm prepared to do. Somebody will piss all over me for not doing them better. But you know what? It's about me. You do what you want. Those We're gonna, you guys are such divas. <laughs> We're gonna add some mustard as a binder. Look, uh, if you didn't want to use mustard, and by the way, these will not taste mustardy when we're done. This just helps the seasoning stick and not fall off. You could use mayo here. I've done it before. You could use a tiny bit of oil. I've done that. But I think mustard is a great thing. So now we'll just sprinkle. We'll give some love to this backside, the backside. The bottom, backside sounds weird, but mostly onto the meatier front. And I know I say rub and it's universally a rub, but we're not really rubbing. It'll come off, we're patting. Mustard, 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 and on we go. Mm -hmm. 
Don't forget the sides. And you can put it in a shaker if you want. I'm good this way. Okay, these are set, looking nice. You can do this in advance, give it an hour if you want. I don't, I'm gonna pick these guys up. We're going right over to the smoker. And on we go. Here's one and two. Smoker's at 275, see you in two hours. And at the end of two hours, we have, oof, magic looking ribs. But wait, we're not done yet. There's more, much more. So we're just gonna take them off. Lovely, lovely. Boys, to the counter. Yes, they look gorgeous, but they're about to get gorgeouser. Pay attention. This is the wrapping stage. So we take heavy duty foil like this. We give our foil one quick little spray down the middle. Then we top that with four pats of butter. Look, the spray thing is, is definitely optional, but I find sometimes when I go to pull the foil off, it sticks and I don't want the rib sticking. On top of the butter, we will follow it up with some honey and I'm using hot honey because I can and I should. And no, it's not so hot that it'll burn you. It's just gonna make it more delicious. Now we take one of the racks, we go face down on top and you know the butter's starting to melt. Oh, is this gonna be great? <laughs> Max goes, I've never seen this. Should I have cleared this with you in advance? No, I'm saying, why have I never, why have I never seen this? I don't know. And now I'll give it one more wrap. I don't always, but I had a little poke of a hole here, so. I want it tight because they're gonna steam inside this little package. There's one, duplicate on the other rack. All right, back to the smoker. Up we go, on we go, face down, and we shut. So they've been on two hours. They're now gonna be on another hour. Then we unwrap them, brush them with the barbecue sauce we're now about to make, and they get about another 30 minutes. There's a, a version called 321. It's a three hour smoke and a two hours wrapped and then one hour, you know, unwrapped with sauce. So this is really like two, one and 30 minutes. So it's more than half is short. Is that right? College boy, probably. Yes. Three, more than half is short. And I think just as damn good. I do. All right, barbecue sauce. And then, and then. And then. And then. In one hour. Here's how we make this a bowl and this is now store-bought barbecue sauce going in it's very plain very plain and i know couldn't i just use this sam you could but don't because what you're about to do is going to be much better now you get some brown sugar and the brown sugar goes in to that maple syrup from canada please support my home people these are chipotle chilies they're smoked they're fat they're in adobo sauce and we want this so let's chop up two of these Maybe three. Because of all the sweetness in this, you don't have to worry about it being too spicy, but it will add a little heat and a little smoke. These go in, we mix. And look, do this a week in advance if you want. Just stick it in the fridge. This is ready when the ribs are ready in that one hour time period. And after an hour, that's so anticlimactic. It's terrible, isn't it? But here's what you got. Oh, look at that liquid. Ooh, baby. Oh my goodness. And now, Gently, gently. They're beautiful. See the pullback on the bones. That means you know it's almost there. So these guys are gonna go on like this. The other one. Ooh boy. Look at what's going on here. I'm telling you, do you need it any more tender than this? Holy smokes. Okay, those guys are there. And now comes the only other thing you have to do. We gotta get some sauce on them. We haven't changed the temp on the grill at all, but this sweet, sticky part is when it's gonna get all tacky, and that's what you want. Not tacky in a bad way. Not tacky as in wearing ugly clothing to a wedding. Tacky as in sticky. So, paint them away. I sometimes do the bottoms, I sometimes don't do the bottoms. I'm not a stickler for that. I'm okay like this. We're still at 275, lid goes down. We're gonna give it about a half an hour or so. And then, Chance eats. And here we are. Wow, it's been a half an hour. Sticky, tacky. Once again, not in a bad way. Here's the deal. Digital instant read thermometer. You want to check this. Really what's important is, are they tender? And generally speaking, the barbecue people are going to tell you, you're looking for ribs to be 203 degrees. Well, that's fine, except do you have to be that exact? I'm thinking anywhere like uh, 199 is good. Let's look in here and see what we got. Here we go, look, 203. 204, could I be any happier than that? I don't think so. It's not quite there, 197, I'm good there. This guy, there you go, I'm happy. Let's take these guys off. Come on, buddy, come on. Oh, I like that little bit of bend, but they're not falling apart. 
which is not a terrible thing, but come on. All right, so let's take them off and set them down. Beautiful. Oh, Oops, sorry, Max. Okay, so what are we gonna do? What do I say? Something comes off a grill, gets one more little brushing. Can you have too much? No, you can't have too much. It was rhetorical, I answered it myself. Mm. Wow. You know, when the sauce goes on something hot, it just accentuates the smell, and makes it great. Okay, last thing we're gonna do, remember our little seasoning? We're just gonna fairy dust the top of these guys, just to remind ourselves what has happened here. I'm trying to work around Max's quickly lowering camera. There you go. All right, guys, that is all she wrote. Glossy, sticky, tender, gorgeous. And I'm quite certain they're about to be delicious. Well, there ain't nothing left to do but get in and try these. They, they look fake. Have you seen those Japanese food models? Plastic that sit in the restaurant windows? This is what that looks like. But you can do this, look. Well, there you go. I knew that was gonna happen. Let me just cut some. And you know, here's the thing. The one thing about St. Louis style ribs that I'm not necessarily a fan of, it's this little weird bone here. Oh, does each rib have it? Yeah, you can see if I go like this, it runs that way, but I don't care. I got all this good meat here. Oh shit, that's hot. Okay, let's do this. Ow. I mean, come on, come on. Could you ask for anything prettier than that? <laughs> no. Shit. Huge flavor, beautiful smokiness. Sticky tacky, little hint of the, the chipotle that's in this. It's a perfect combination. That rub with that sauce, smoke the way we did it. Not three, two, one, two, one, thirty. There you go. Two, one, thirty. Holy smokes. Chance, you're gonna love these. Thank you for having me. Holy shit. No lying. To me, that is the best food that you could possibly have. So I don't know how anyone else could disagree. Can I tell you something? I'm starting to rethink my final meal. I know I said it would be a Benedict, but geez, this good? Insane. All right, enough. I want to try it. <laughs> <laughs>